Okay, hey everybody. I want to continue on from where I left off in the last video, and that was just simple character movement, just up, down, left, right. You can see, obviously, the sprite images, the image doesn't change when we're changing direction. So I want to switch out the picture when I'm changing directions. Now, full disclaimer, you know I'm just learning, so this is probably not the best way to do it. If you have um, any info to share, please definitely put it in the comments down below. So looking at uh, render copy, this is where I, I wanted to, to start first, is uh, render copy takes uh, a reference to the source rectangle and then puts it in a new destination rectangle. So the source, you may remember, I'm just opening the sprite image here, the source is which part of the sprite image we want to um, we want to use and then of course the destination is where we're going to put it uh, up until now the source that we've been using um, is right up here it's been uh, con constant it's been constant at uh, x y zero zero which is the very top image here um, so what i need to be able to do is uh, grab different pieces depending on the direction we're moving so the height and width, uh, I should point out too, doesn't need to change. It's just the X and Y. And where would I change this? Uh, well, in our after our event handler, uh, where we're just updating the destination coordinates right here. Uh, for now, it's just X and Y, depending on the direction. Uh, this is where I want to change the source. Um, so do something like player uh, source X equals and then Y equals something like that. And um, it looks like, uh, so I'm grabbing these along the left-hand side. So our X isn't going to change, just the Y is going to change. And it looks like I'm going to have to do a little bit of math to move down uh, each time. So to make that a little bit easier, I'm going to put the, the height and width into a constant here. So right now I've, I've started working with uh, 24 and 38. This should be uh, something like player uh, width, and this should be player height. And I'll change these out as well. Player width. And I'll just define these at the top here. Um, player width, what did we say? That was 24. And height is um, 38. And by the way, I, I don't actually know if these are the right um, the right numbers. I just uh, did it. I did trial and error. I chose them uh, just when it started to look right. And these may not actually work out when we're changing direction. In fact, I, I know they won't work out. I'll show you that in a second. So when our player moves, um, let me see. When we're moving left, uh, that's the one down here. So X is 0. Y will be the height times 2. Or sorry, will be the height. That's left, so I'm going to say player height, just like that. And when we're moving to the right, just copy that. This will be player height times two, because I go down one, two, and then for moving upwards, we have times three, and for moving down. to type when I'm on the camera. Uh, when we're moving down, that will be the very first one. So that'll be zero, zero. Just like that. So this should be all that's needed. Recompile. Now you can see right now when I'm moving, uh, up and down looks okay. But when I move left or right, there's a slight shift in the picture. Um, and so that tells me that my height and width, the, the pieces that I'm carving out, uh, aren't exactly correct. So I tried a couple of different numbers, and I finally found that 36 is actually the player height here. And then it uh, seems to look a lot better. And again, this is just me trial and error, uh, moving the character around to see what looks best. If I go left and right, there's no visible shift. If I'm going down and turn left or right, it looks consistent. If I'm moving up, go left or right, same thing. There doesn't seem to be any shift there. So just trial and error, that's how I figured that out. Um, if there's a better way to do this, I'd really like to know it. Maybe it's 
when you get uh, a sprite sheet like this, the artist will give you the numbers. But uh, if you don't have those available, maybe Photoshop is, or just trial and error like I did, is the way to figure that out. Uh, let's see. So that that's it. That's as simple as that. That's about as easy as I could make it. Um, again, if you know a better way, then please let me know. Uh, in the next video, what I'd like to cover is a little bit of character animation. We want to cycle through some of these images to make it look like the character is moving, which was very cool. But I'll do that in another video. Hey, thanks for watching. Cheers.